what is the best keyword volume competition ratio to find the best keywords to use as tags? So is there like a magic number that we're looking for, Scott, when we're trying to come up with our, our tags for our listings? No. Uh, so here, here's the deal. Here, here's my thoughts on keyword stuff. Your most important place to put your keywords is in the title. We all know that. And really when you're putting it in your tags, it's a secondary place to allow Etsy to know kind of like what your product is about. My thing is like, you're probably only going to find five keywords that drive a bulk of your traffic. And probably it's going to be more like two, right? So all of those additional ones are just extra. I wouldn't spend a whole bunch of time trying to figure out what the best ones are. What I would spend more time on is my title, my images, and I would run Etsy ads because it's going to come down to sales. You can have better tags than me, but if I have more sales, I'm going to outrank you no matter what. Don't, it doesn't matter. Right? So you could, you could have three tags in there, right? But if I'm, if my description's well-written, if my title's good, um, and I get a lot of sales, it's not gonna really matter. Um, I've seen it. I've actually done the research, uh, with, uh, you know, just looking at the data inside of Everbee and looking at some products that have sold really well and they got three tags, right? And everyone else has loaded their tags. They got everything. Uh, so I wouldn't put so much uh, time and effort into tags. I'd also want to make sure that that product that you're spending so much time on to get that thing to rank, is there a lot of demand for it, right? That's another mistake. I see people there, they think that the product might do well, or they look at it and they go, oh, it's getting a hundred sales. Uh, if I get number one, I'll get a hundred sales. No, that's not how it works. So my, my thing here is like, don't spend so much time trying to find, you know, 10 great keywords for your tags. Spend a little bit of time. I'm not looking at like ratio and numbers and all that stuff. Is it something that someone would search? Here we go back to common sense. Is it something that someone would search for that if they found my product, that they would actually buy it? <laughs> that's the filter I run. I had to add myself back with, with the head shake because that's really what we're looking at. If you're trying to find like the perfect mix of, of this and that, yeah, based on the keyword estimates that you're getting back, you're doing SEO wrong. And I know that sounds counterintuitive, but we yeah. also have to layer in the common sense thing here, right? And Scott, you and I use the example, or at least I use the example all the time of sandals or flip-flops, right? There is another word that is also a word for women's underwear that is much more common somewhere like Australia. So if you are Australian and you're selling to Australians, you probably won't call them flip-flops or sandals. You would probably call those the name for women's underwear. If you are in America and you do that, that will lead to a lot of really confused people even though what you will find is technically it's a relevant keyword for that product. And it probably has a really high search volume, maybe not on Etsy, but on other places like Google and Amazon, because it is something that people buy and wear. In fact, it's possible that half of the world's population could be searching for that, but it's not necessarily relevant to your specific product. And it's not relevant to your geographic area unless you're in New Zealand or Australia. So what are the ways that you and your friends would refer to these products? What is, you know, kind of the general guidance? And then the most important thing is what does the data show you? And that's why at the beginning of this, I said, one of the most important things is getting started early so that we can look at the data that comes back to us. Etsy understands to a pretty extensive extent uh, synonyms, right? And other ways of refer plurals and some of these misspellings, all of those kinds of things. So we don't have to worry about getting it perfect. We just have to worry about getting it close enough and then letting the data come back to us and say, hey, these are the words that we really should be using because when somebody types in this specific phrase or when somebody does this, I know from my ads data and my organic search results data that we're now getting inside of Etsy that this is what leads to clicks and sales for me. And that really is the lifeblood of what we're seeing inside of the Etsy algorithm. It's not the words we put in. It's that's that's a swipe yes, swipe no Tinder type test. Uh, it's It's really about the traffic and sales.